Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Elex. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're just to join me today on the way to the domed city. And uh, oh, I just stepped over that thing over there, and it could have been an enemy. Uh, we're basically trodden, uh, as of right now I think, um, a, a path that we've taken already before. And uh, you guys might remember, remember this place. A world heart in the middle of nowhere. I also needed to come back here because I got one of the quests done for the leader. I don't remember who it was. Was it you, ma'am? No? Hi. Uh, was it that guy? Wait a minute. That's the quest I'm doing? Of course it is the quest I'm doing. I needed to get this guy. Shut up. I need to get this guy, right? Hey, Rock. I got a stack of extra work to do thanks to you. Yes. Thanks for sticking me with all this extra bullshit. Yeah. Thanks for that. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Works. Work. Work, work. Works, 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 that was what I was gonna say anyway. Hey, so... Rock will return to work for you again. He's there already. He's on his way back now. No, no, he's there. Good, great. I was beginning to worry about the health of the world heart. But I know he can help me put it right. Thank you. And there it is, 123 shards received. I wonder why that was. Why, why the 123? Uh, and we're just doing quests mostly so question of faith. That's not gonna do anything for us right now contract work crazy idea That's c crazy indeed uh, law of the berserkers that one is basically done uh, Except it's not selling indulgences Ragnar wants me to take a large donation of ill exits to the berserkers as a sign of goodwill Let's do that. Where should this take us? I imagine it's not gonna earn us any favors uh, with uh, w with them, but where? Wait a minute. Ragnar? What? To the Berserkers? As a sign of goodwill? Ragnar wants me to take a, make a large... Oh, no, 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 no. Not take. Make. I remember that one. Oh, yeah. And Ragnar wants me to check on some remote Berserker outposts he has, he has lost contact with. Let's do that. Where would that be? No. Oh, it wouldn't. I thought I had done that. Okay. Well, Ragnar, I'm not going back for you. Uh, electrical technology for Falk? Oh, that's right, but this one, we don't have markers. That's kind of a shame. Or do we? I think we do. Highly sensitive memory module. Let's go over there to the converter of Dan. And, uh, we've cleared this area already. Um, but, uh, yeah, we've gone inside as well, right? But we still need to complete the, uh, still need to complete the, the converter missions and all that sort of stuff. I thought there was a mo an enemy or something. Uh, I wonder where this technology is gonna be. And also, I wonder if this converter, it's not working. Or maybe it still hasn't started working or something. Yeah, because I, uh, now that I think back on it, I didn't remember this converter actually causing me harm, causing me uh, cold damage like the other ones did. Uh, will I be able to get up there? The answer is most likely no. Let's try and let's try and mountaineer through the outside. See if we can do that. Uh, that looks like a good place over there. Let's go. Let's go for it. So, from here, don't jump over there. Huh? Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, and then from here to up there. There's nothing. Nothing to kill around here. We've done all the things. We've killed all the things. Okay, what do I have over here? Nothing. Good. Is that blood? No, it's not. Okay. And then from here onto the pipes. There it is. And then from here. Oh, we're actually. Oh, it's inside. Dang it. Now there's an entrance from the upstairs, so it shouldn't be too much of an ask. Hi. <gasps> what is this? Hi. We have a... Okay, was that a note? No, it's just electronic scrap. Old coin and a bunch of potions. There's a lot of stuff, and of course... King's Sorrel. Yeah, and of course the, um, the red paint. And I assume the plastic bags, or plastic bones that are around here. But I do remember there being... Oh man, there's so much stuff. Gold nuggets?! Oh, just give me sulfur. I need the sulfur. I do remember there being... Yeah. Is this the entrance? That's weird. Are we... A 
Is every anything accessible? Hmm. Well, let's go in through the normal way. Oh. We've done this before, but it should be easier now because there's no more deadly enemies around. Also, I'm lost. Hmm. Is it down there? Where's the entrance? Dang it, I'm so lost. <laughs> uh, that was... Uh, that is where... Yeah, okay. So, this is just the... I suppose they have, like, drills that drill into the earth. That's pretty cool, actually. The huge drills. That's pretty awesome. I'm not sure if big drills like that would actually work, or if they'd need a little bit of a tighter threading. Because, you know, physics. And here is the entrance. And then in here... Ev Everything should be fine. I hope. Okay. Switch. Press the switch. Oh, it's over here. Okay. And up we go. I could swear we, we had a... Uh, I could swear we had a, a... Oh. Oh, this is not good. Oh. Nice. Um, we had a, uh, an exit to the outside, because that's where we found Falk, or whatever. It wasn't Falk. Was it Falk? I thought it was here. Okay, so now we're at the same level as uh, our objective. I totally missed that. No, we're not. We're a little bit below. Okay. And here it is. How did I miss that? What happened to me that I missed this? Oh. Well, I can hack. So, there it is. Hmm. Okay, that's minus... Um, so, that's small, big, small, big. So, let's go with this, 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 this. Uh, it's not too bad. So, let's go with that. Uh, I need that, and that, and that. That's already good. Mm, it's not that. Okay, uh, then four is... Uh, that can't be that. Okay, then three... Four, one, eight, but it's, oh, okay, what is bigger than, what is smaller than four? That is, yeah, that's one, and then what is big, uh, smaller, how is that? Oh, that's three. I in. Pretty good, pretty good. And here we have it, our quest objective, also 200 experience. And a locked chest that I shouldn't have a problem uh, opening because I got amazing uh, things over here, so we have the dexterity up, experience the hunter thing, and I need the lock picking. There it is. And let's see what I can do here. This is looking like an interesting. Oh. Okay, how about that? And then. Oh, really? Okay, so that's those two. And then you go over here. Oh. There it is. Too easy. Don't say it's too easy. It's not. Okay. I, I wish actually he said uh, he said different things depending on the difficulty. That'd be cool. Uh, what do we have in here? Can't really see those very very luminescent things. And I got oh, whatever that is chemicals. Uh, and I got natural elix. Let's go upstairs. I want to see where this goes. Uh, anyway, I can teleport from anywhere, so I don't really need to go back outside. Just want to see if there is indeed an exit that I missed. This place is just very green. And of course, we are going to need to come back over here. And those sounds are not nothing to be scared of. And look at that. If I can figure out how to get back here, and I can. Oh, maybe I can't. Uh, maybe I can. Oh, come on. We were so close. <laughs> well, that's the fastest way to get up here uh, the next time around. Uh, but yeah, we were very close. Very, very close. I wonder if this gives access to anywhere. No, it doesn't. Okay. So, next spot. Where are we going? We are going... Oh. Hydraulic joint. Over there. I wonder where it is. Maybe underground? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this mission? Oh, it's for Falk. Okay. We're good. I thought I was collecting the... Um, for a moment there, I thought I was collecting the bomb pieces for, for the crazy scientist dude. That's, uh, that one's a bomb. Oh, 
you guys remember where we are now? Yep. That's where that guy that apparently was trying to pin my... Pin, pin his lack of food on me or something. Do you want me to eat trash? He said. No, I don't. Did I say I, I didn't? I might have said I did, because maybe at the time I did. Uh, and where to next? Oh, well, back to the center to talk to Falk. Then tell him, hey, so... Okay, do you want to join me? Because it's been a while and you're annoying, but... Hey, Arx, how's it going? You're also annoying, because you want to eat heads and, and skulls and things. Hey, you're not going to give me anything? No. Where's Falk? Hi, there you are. So, follow me. Follow me. Yeah. Of course. Now. About these components you need. Yes. I have the sensor module. Then we are a step closer. The cleric who sent me to do this will be pleased. So, you're a cleric? Me? Well, I am a... What's the word? An advocate. A lawyer. So we'll need to take these components back to Ignadon? Perhaps. Or to Tavar. It's all very secret. But I can locate the cleric that sent me. When our mission is complete, I can give you the coordinates. But please remember, this is a secret mission. It was a legate from the Hort that sent me, and he is very knowledgeable. It is my honor and my duty to serve him. This is why I don't like him. I gave him a stuff, uh, a thing that he asked, and then he finds me a bit odd. Just like, hmm, this guy's a little bit odd. I'm not a little bit odd. Hmm, something isn't right about you. Nah, well, I don't, I wouldn't say that's not right. Let's go with this. Serve him? Serve and assist. It is Cal Urn who we serve, and the Legate is his voice to me. I must follow his instructions. In Cal Urn we trust. Sure, if you say so. Oh, yes. In Cal Urn we trust. All clerics believe in Cal Urn. You must speak to my Legate. I must follow his instructions. He is a cleric Legate from the Hort Monastery. Sure, whatever you say. Here he comes. Nope, he goes away. I found this hydraulic joint. Is this the type you need? Yes, thank you. An incredible piece of engineering, isn't it? It's stronger and more durable than its organic cousin, but capable of replicating it. To think what Magalang would have become if the comet hadn't hit. Your delivery is sublime. I think sublime is probably the word. You should pro pro pronounce it improperly, though. Just like sublime. Let's go with sublime. Yeah, your delivery is sublime. You think things would be different? You mean, would Maglin have destroyed itself if the comet hadn't struck? The berserkers say so. I disagree. But the comet didn't just bring destruction. It also brought Elix. And it is Elix that gave those who survived the leap forward in technology that the clerics have driven. Mutants adapted to the new environment through Elix. We have done the same through technology. We adapt. We survive. We move forward. If you say so. Hmm. <laughs> Indeed. I have the Garidium. An amazing Garidium. element, isn't it? Another gift from the comet. Gift? Like Elex, Garidium wasn't found here before the comet struck. Now these elements help drive our technology forward. How do you know Elex and Garidium weren't here before? Garidium! I have studied history and old technology. There are no traces of either element in the records or in the old world machines we salvage. It was the clerics who first began using Elex. That's why While it is interesting to consider uranium what the world didn't exist in the medieval been, ages. The true value of knowledge is in what it will help us become. What do you think of Elex? Elex is a resource. It's a game. It is only what we do with it that should be judged morally, not the substance itself. Well, yeah. That's true. If I'm going to judge anything morally, I'm going to judge your understanding of what records mean. Hmm. Well, I have the high-performance CPU. I'll have to run some tests, but if it looks undamaged, we can be hopeful it will work. That's one good thing about military equipment. Can he run crisis though? It's built to be durable. Some of it has survived for centuries. That was built to be performance. Is it military equipment you're building with this? Building? Well, the components are for... They will... We will use them in the advance of technology to defeat the Albs. What? You don't sound so sure. Sure of what? Are you all right? What they're for? You're not making much sense. 
I was thinking the same thing. Yep. Well, if you're worried, maybe we can get you some help after this is finished. Your face can get you some help. I have the miniature Elex battery. An example of how Elex has revolutionized technology. We might not have the resources our ancestors did, but look what the clerics have achieved since. They... what? Yeah. We should thank the clerics for the albs. Technology is not moral or immoral. People are. The clerics are He's not to blame the for the immoral. albs. You seem pretty certain about that. Cal Ern's will what? is to help all through technology. So my legate says. So you will learn when you see him. Sounds like Kalan has it all planned out. I don't understand why he brings up all this moral and more uh, and lack of it because it's not like. Uh, okay, so let me engage directly with the argument here. Um, so the clerics, it's because the clerics at the Alps exist, but that's because the clerics use Elex and develop the technology that allowed the Alps to, you know, to, to be, even be a thing in the first place. Now, I'm not sure what the Alps are. I know they have this sort of, uh, whatever, common directorate or whatever, and... The, the, the clerics are definitely close to that uh, in their in the in the way they act not so much now of course not in the pragmatical and, and ob objective sense of the word they're not you know they, ne they don't have a common mind or anything like that um, to say like the problem here the problem here is that he's not actually engaged like Falk over here is not engaging with any argument against or for the clerics in regards to the existence of the Alps what he's saying is that is not related. But it is, yeah, sure, technology, you know, a, a, a nuclear weapon is not immoral, but developing nuclear weapons, it, depending on what you are planning to do with them is, or depending on the, uh, like, climate, like, political climate or anything, like, like the Cold War, uh, and I guess, I guess, the, I say is, but at least you can argue morality about it, so it is moral in the sense that, it, it, that's what I mean. It's, it's in the sense uh, of uh, it, it is a moral decision. It's not like, you know, oh, I'm just making a trap that kills humans. It's not immoral. It's just a trap that kills humans. Well, no, it, the trap is not immoral. What are you doing, you jerk? Why do you do this? Why? Oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm building a shotgun for my kid. What, it's not immoral? No, what? No, it's not. The shotgun is not. That's not the point. So it kind of it falls flat because it just doesn't engage with the argument. Now, I honestly don't blame the clerics for the Alves. I blame the, the clerics for the clerics, and that's the problem here. I really think the clerics are either hiding something or being controlled by something. Or or I don't know who Kalan or whatever god they praise. I don't know what it is. It sounds to me like it's an AI that is controlling them. And if, if that is the case, then it, the Alps might have just, you know, fallen completely under its control and just be the same thing. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Also because it's a pretty common common trope. I got hiccups, I'm sorry. Then my speech is breaking up. Uh, but basically it's a pretty common trope, so I, I wouldn't be surprised about that. Um, so, I, yeah. Yeah, that's, that was, I, that's what I have to say. Let's see. Uh, well... There it is. I think you should have the full set of the components you were searching for. I agree. We should deliver them. I found these on our journey. You can put them to whatever use you see fit. Do you want the location? Are you ready to deliver the components? Sure. Yes. Let's find your legate. Good. Here are the coordinates. These components are important. We should deliver them quickly. We should. And you might die. That was remarkable. Well, thank you. I That's very kind of you to say. Uh, okay, I am going to need some shotgun shells, most likely. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with your legate. It's just a... Oh, and by the way, somebody told me where to find the, uh, the crafting station. And uh, thank you very much for telling me that. Uh, I, I, did, I did, haven't looked for it yet, uh, but it's somewhere. There's a crafting station in this area, and I just missed it. Uh, but thank you. Thank you very much for telling me where that is. Is it over there? I always thought he Like, I thought he was outside, but... Nah. It's fine. Let's go buy some shotgun shells. I'm not gonna look for it again. This Let's Play is gonna be Let's Play Finding the Crafting Table in Center Camp. 
What good? Okay. Yeah. yeah, of course. What you have got? Of course. Of course. Okay, so uh, I will go with, well, sulfur nuggets. I'll just buy them. Uh, I will go with iron ore. And I will bo go with elbow. I'll go with that. That's pretty acceptable. How's this going? Put yeah, pretty good. Well, yeah, I know, well, I know. So stupid after all. You're stupid. Your face is stupid. Uh, okay, so from here, where are we going? We have the same quest engaged. Or maybe it's a different quest. And yeah, it probably is a different quest. Uh, random access memory. Falk has found all the things. Why is it called that? You might as, it <laughs> might as well call it like a the, the non-perishable... What's the word? No, non... NVMe, what's the, I don't remember what NVMe does. The fort or is what, not just a term from the what present it, day. What it means. This location served as a defensive position in the old world. Old world expert, aren't you? If there no. is anything you'd like to know, you just have to ask. Or I'm Google always it. happy to exchange information. Or duck, duck, go it. Noticed. Or what's the other one? There's one. There's another one that I use sometimes, but I don't remember the name. It's one that basically uses their their uh, one search engine. I mean. That uses their... I have no idea where we're going, by the way. Um, uses their profits to uh, plant trees. It's not very good, though. Hey, are you following me, Falk? Yeah. Hmm. This looks suspicious. How do I get anywhere with this? Falk has found all the components he requires that needs to deliver them immediately. Let's look at the map. I can't tell the... That's Falk's destination. Let's go back. Okay. Pretty good. And it must be in the pit. Let's see. There's an access point through here. Bless you. Oh, no, he was doing that nasty thing. Oh, my God. Okay. So... Through here, I think this is where I need to go. Wait a minute. Oh, no. You jerk! It's the bomb guy. It is. Oh, I'm gonna kill you all. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, it all comes back around, doesn't it? I was talking about this guy before. I was talking oh, about... Look who's here. I've completed my work and brought you the pieces you require. As I knew you would. Have I completed my task? Yes, Falk. Your work on this task is complete. It is time I told you something, um, something, something important. You're... I am ready to hear Kalan's words. I thought you were traveling by order of a legate. I was. I will hear Kalan's words. 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 What is wrong with him? Well, Isn't you asked that now? Picture? He is my greatest invention, the pride of creation. You created him? Of course. He's my masterpiece. Your voice and acting the doesn't gel. Brought me, I his... will finish his upgrades. What upgrades? I will install these parts and make him better than before. Oh, at least so, not the bomb. He's a robot. Oh, much more than that. I am thankful to you for bringing him back. He has obviously chosen you as his companion. A friend. He gets more human every day. Of course... That is part of his programming. Wait here, and I will finish up with my work. Are you sure it's not a bug? Because I think it's a bug. Falk. Initializing. Is he all right? You are beginning a new stage of evolution now. Go with your new friend. Learn about yourself. Your new routines should help you access the data that tells you what you are. Take good care of him, won't you? Well, it's not very advanced if you programmed him to have friends. That's well, all I'm saying. That's why I asked if it's not a bug. And it's a good thing that he's just getting better. Um, even though I'm not going to take him with it, with me. If you've followed uh, the development or bugs about a game called uh, The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Uh, 4 is the number. It's not 4 Oblivion. It's anyway. Um, there was a situation that they were talking about the AI development in that game. Uh, before the game came out. And they were like, uh, we found some funny things happening with the AI, they said. And... We later found out that the final version of the game also had plenty of funny things to happen with the AI. Uh, but what basically uh, happened was that the guards were attacking a hunter that was attacking a deer. 
um, because the hunter was programmed to attack deers, um, and uh, the deer was passive, and they forgot to make that into... Uh, basically, what happened is the hunter would get a bounty because he killed a passive creature, and then the guards would go after the hunter, and then the hunter would flee, and then uh, other th creatures would go after the guards because the, the guards were programmed to patrol the streets. And it was basically a, a nasty th set of events that they see, saw a terrible, a terrible um, convoy of creatures. First goes the deer, and then goes the hunter, and then goes the guards, and then goes a huge monster of death, and then goes the player trying to kill the monster, if you want to, of course. Uh, but basically, that was a funny side effect. It wasn't programmed to be like that. That is a bug because it was dimmed after the fact to be a bug. And AI is very, very much, especially deep learning AI, is very much like this. And that's that's usually the problem when people say, oh, we don't know what AI is going to be like. Well, that's arguable. I, by that, I mean you can argue about that. What you can't argue is that AI that is specifically programmed to have friends is not a very deep AI. That is very probably bad. You want the friendship to be a side effect of your basic programming, not the objective of your basic programming. But anyway, Falk is our friend. I, I'm not his friend. How are you feeling? My systems appear to be functioning correctly. No. I feel strong. You didn't know that you're a machine? No. I was aware of discrepancies in my behavior. Emotions, for instance. I don't experience them as others do. Welcome to being but human. I had observed that many people suffer from such issues. Though I do wonder if my reaction to this revelation is lacking in emotion. Or feeling something I must learn. Nobody feels emotions like others do. That's what makes them emotions. But then we fall into the age old problem of what is an emotion? <sighs> So basically what he's talking about is just irrationality. That's what he means by emotion. It's irrationality. It usually goes around that. Just being irrational is equal to emotion. Or, and then by, and then because the for, the writers use the, the wrong word for irrationality, then they say, oh, but wait a minute, love is an emotion. He must also not feel love. And that's how this whole trope starts. Um, you sound like, sound, like, sound like an alb. That's true. Let's go with that. You sound like an alb. That isn't accurate. No. No, that is Elves accurate. Elves suppress their emotions. I wish to no, explore they don't. mine. They are losing theirs. No, that's stereotypical. I am developing mine. No, that's just I hope I will function strawman. well. I cannot see how this revelation should impair me. On the contrary, I think being more informed should improve my capabilities. I hope so. I am going to kick you out of here. You should go back to Origin. Yes. Strawman, mister. Have you looked into that? Did you Google it? Or duck duck go it, or the other one that I don't remember. You jerk. Yeah, basically I said he sound like an alb, and I'm like, oh, I'm not an alb. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding, you're a machine. You jerk. Anyway, that's gonna be that for this episode. I am Colonel RPG, and this has been Elex. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.